Hey, what's up and welcome back everyone. Today I have some Subway for lunch. So let's get into this Subway mukbang. All right, so here I got a combo meal. Oh, okay. I was trying to figure out how do I take this straw out? It's not in the paper thing like it normally is. Mm. Just give me like two seconds to set up. All right, y'all. I got everything prepped and ready. So I have some Miss Vicky's jalapeno kettle cooked chips. These are really, really, really good. If you haven't tried these, try. And then I have my sub here. It's an Italian sub with all my fixings. And then my soda here is a Sprite and lemonade mix, of course. And y'all know as usual, I'm just on my lunch break, so pop a squat and have lunch with me. Mm. Look at this. This sub is stuffed. Yeah. I got all the good old veggies in mind. Mm. All right. Take my first bite. was a very big bite. How y'all doing today? I hope all is well and all is good. Mm. Mm. I don't know what that noise is. I need to figure it out though. <clears throat> okay so today's gonna be like a transparent moment and story so i can explain to you guys what's happening right now and i'm not okay i'm not gonna lie i'm not okay Okay, so last week, unfortunately, we had a fire happen at our apartment, and I'm okay, my husband is okay, like physically, of course, we're okay. Um, we didn't lose much, except like our balcony area, and like we don't have no balcony at all. Um... I'll place maybe a picture or a video of how it looks. The apartment downstairs from us caught fire and it reached our balcony and caught fire. Now, because our bedroom is next to, it leads to the balcony, um, most of our bedroom bedding and stuff has to be replaced, which again, isn't terrible. We're fine, we're okay. But I guess where I'm not okay is mentally, I don't know how to like work through it. Like I guess you could say like maybe I have a little bit of trauma or, uh, excuse me, or PTSD. I'm not sure if I could call it PTSD, but it was a little, you know, traumatic for me. This sub is so stuffed. Mm. 
personally i've never had an emergency happen in the middle of the night where i'm being like woken up or shaken out of my sleep in an emergency and i'm a heavy sleeper so i'm grateful to know that my husband was home with me like i'm so happy he doesn't work third shift anymore because if he worked third shift y'all i kid y'all not i would be gone and i guess that's one aspect that sticks with me in my mind if he wasn't i'm sorry if he wasn't here to wake me up i'd be gone because that's how heavy of a sleeper i am like i don't hear nothing like i don't i don't hear nothing so again i feel like that's one aspect that's getting to me and being woken out of your deep sleep is like you don't know where your mind is gonna go and, and again this is a fire emergency so it's like babe hurry up wake up get dressed it's fire outside the window and i'm just like like you literally have all of like 2.2 seconds to process what's going on and it's not even processing or registering it's your fight or flight responses kick in and you know some people get stuck luckily i'm so happy i wasn't like i didn't get stuck i was afraid like thinking about it and reflecting afterwards it's like damn i'm glad i didn't get stuck and like i don't know it's just again it's like a lot of trauma to unpack two now i feel like i could ever get back into a deep sleep that i was in before because now i feel like i have to be like mildly sleep and able still to be alert enough in case something else bad happens uh. oh excuse me these burps so literally the first three or four nights we got no sleep at all so a couple hours after the fire happened you know we can't stay in the apartment so we checked into a hotel for a couple hours but when i say it i just laid there like I didn't get like we didn't get any sleep at all and then once everything was cleared here we were allowed to come back get a couple things and then we stayed again that night and a couple more nights in a hotel but we got <laughs> no sleep not that i'm afraid to go to sleep but my body again is still processing like everything that's happened and i don't know like it's it's processing oh <coughs> excuse me it, it's a lot it's a lot i would like someone to talk to about it but like no one I know has experienced a house fire so I don't really have anyone to like bounce these things off of and get their perspectives or you know how they learn to cope with it because <clears throat> man you should keep an inventory and catalog of everything you already have in your apartment or house but now it's I'm checking everything that we have in case of you know like another fire or you know if your place floods you need to know for like insurance purposes inventory of what you have speaking of which if you don't have insurance get you some insurance i am so grateful i'm so grateful that texas makes you have renter's insurance because <clears throat> excuse me if we were back in milwaukee in wisconsin it would have been a done deal 
it would have been a done deal because they do not require renter's insurance and most people do not have renter's insurance there so we are grateful and glad that you know we have some insurance to replace you know the things that need to be replaced <clears throat> but I guess again moving beyond that how do I move forward mentally or like psychologically and emotionally because it's again you don't really know how he'll respond in any way until you're put in this situation This isn't too downing or negative but I did want to like make you guys aware on like I'll still have upcoming videos but if for some reason I seem a little weird or out of it it's probably because mentally I'm still like again processing this and there's there's a lot to do, a lot going on. A lot of bakery stuff was pushed back because, you know, everything in here has to be clean. We got to go through everything. I got to toss out a bunch of stuff, go rebuy a lot of inventory and ingredients. It's, it's been a lot. And again, y'all, like I said, I'm grateful that i'm here i'm grateful that you know i had my husband by my side i'm grateful that he was home because <laughs> your girl would have been gone dead ass it's my life currently smile and laugh to keep from crying just came to my mind that <clears throat> when traumatic events happen you go into a state of like mini depression we weren't necessarily like depressed but it was more so like the daunting idea or reality of the fact that we have to deal with this situation like Oh, nobody wants to go through this. So, it was just like, ugh. Um, my response to it, I wanted to binge eat. But I wanted to binge eat, like, comfort foods because, like, our whole world is turned upside down now and food comforts me. I like to eat. Um but my husband on the other hand when something traumatic happens like with him or something changes he likes to splurge and buy stuff so and then there's me and i'm just over here like i want my mama taco salad i want my mama mashed potatoes i want some pot roast mm. i want some bread beans and rice crock pot red beans and rice i want some fried fish i want some barbecue mm. i want a mega 
cookie double bowl. I don't like, I'm not gonna lie, them first couple days. <laughs> it was, I want this. I want this, I want this, I want this. And mind you, we can't cook anyways because we in a hotel. <clears throat> handle major life events because I'll be big as a house. But the, I guess the difference is <clears throat> at least I wanted to bench eat food food. Most people want to bench eat snacks and junk, chips, ice cream, like all types of just bad stuff. I want Sunday meals seven days a week. Mm. But I'm going to work through it, y'all. I'm going to work through it. <clears throat> if anyone else has experienced something like this, do y'all mind letting me know down in the comments like you don't have to tell me your exact situation but I would like to know like how you got through mentally what are some things y'all did or stopped doing or some people you talk to any support groups for stuff like this hmm. this is off topic <clears throat> But I have a love-hate relationship with bread. I like bread, but after a while, I be sick of chewing bread. Y'all ever be sick of chewing? Mm. So it was good though. Speaking of which, I never told y'all what was on my sub. It's an Italian BNT. I think. It is an Italian sub. They got pepperoni and salami and that other meat I can't pronounce. Ain't no ham on this though. Ain't no ham on this one. I think the spicy one has the ham, but not this one. And for my veggies, I always get a lettuce and spinach mix. Because I don't like the lettuce by itself and I don't like the spinach by itself. They got to be together. With a whole lot of olives. Uh, excuse me. Yes, I am the person keeping olives in production. Whole lot of olives, <laughs> tomatoes, pickles, uh, banana peppers, and jalapenos. Oh, with some mayo, a lot, just a line of mustard, salt and pepper, and oregano, and some oil. That's my subway order. Between this sub and these kettle cooked chips, my mouth is tired of chewing. But it's so good. Too much bread. Next time, I'm gonna try a lettuce wrap. I haven't tried a lettuce wrap yet. Mm -hmm. 
I gotta, I gotta get my mind together, y'all. Mm. It was a good soap. If you haven't tried it, the Italian BMT from Subway. Then add all the good veggies. Again, I hope this wasn't too like negative or downing for y'all. I just wanted to make y'all aware of what's currently going on with my situation and to be transparent. <clears throat> As always, look, I'm human. We all go through stuff. But again, like I said, if you have any advice or things like that, please leave it down below in the comment section. I would greatly appreciate it a lot to help me get through this and process this trauma mentally as always thank you guys for joining me for lunch i truly truly appreciate it today but that's all i have for you thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye